Hey, this is Klaus Talk TV, and they'll be talking about Fallout New Vegas. Um, like it's like it sounds, it's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, when they first came out, there was a ton of bugs. I actually bought it, pre-ordered it, got it, I think this day after it came out, and there were so many bugs in it that it just made it like unplayable. But now when you play it, it's like completely different. So something to just be aware of uh what else oh so you start off in las vegas uh you, you sort of like wake up in a ditch some person you know that is from las vegas and las vegas is like uh, pretty much controlled by this robot machine called mr house there's actually three major factions and then a couple other factions who are sort of minor uh, the, the first one is the New California Republic, who are like, you know, the largest governmental force in actually the American, uh, North American continent at this time. Uh, they're based in like uh, California and they have a lot of people in a post apocalyptic uh, area. So they're trying to, you know, they have a president who's um, out here now, or I think it's the ambassador. You have the ambassador or something like that. And, you know, it sort of like, sort of resembles how the United States government is today. So, but they're called the New California Republic. And the second one is Caesar's Legion, which uh, is in the state of, I think it's what, oh shit, I think Missouri. Like, the states that are east, east of Nevada, like, he, like, there's a tribe, they're like all these tribes who came under control of this uh, one, like, tribe or whatever, and... They pretty much wear Roman armor, and they have sword. Well, they have guns and stuff too. But you know, they're fighting the NCR for control over Las Vegas. And there's the main battle, the main like you know area they're you know pretty much gridlocked in is uh, Hoover Dam, which you know powers a lot of electricity to uh, New Vegas. And then you have uh, well, Mr. House is sort of like you know in between the middle of. He's sort of like be the jelly in the sandwich and there's pretty much you know each side is like the pieces of bread that's sort of a funny way to put it but um you know and also but mr house i would say has the most potential for like you know like militarily because if you unlock you know his combat uh if you unlock his robots and make them combat robots and he actually has a huge army at the i think the basement of his uh casino and then there's three casinos in the strip that's owned by the Omertas, who are like sort of like a mafia, mobster type casino. Uh, and they have their casino, which is like they're their, they're their own faction. And you have the, uh, I think it's the top six, like it's the one top six like casino or something like that. And they're their own fashion, faction, high faction. And then you have another like high end faction, and these people are actually like all I think they're ghouls or something because they're we're all wearing like masks or something, but they're like the high end casino. And then you have like the Brotherhood of Steel, who are like a minor faction in this game, but in my personal opinion, they have like the coolest weapons. So um, they're out in like a bunker uh, called Hidden Valley, which you can actually access if you get this one. Um, follower in the game she's she's actually like on on the road to uh new vegas or the interstate road to new vegas i forget what her name is but you can actually go in there and meet them if you have her with you that's a lot easier you can like do other there's another way you can do it but um then the, the, the fallout 3 this the uh the shooting mechanics and the uh you know how you move around pretty much the same from fallout 3 the original or the original fallout 3 game such as you have like the VAT system where you can actually like pick and choose and how many times you want to shoot at a certain target. Um, there's a lot more like I would say guns as well, different types of guns and different kinds of ammo than there was in Fallout 3. Um, you actually make your own like uh, ammo and guns and stuff, so that's sort of interesting. Well, you can you can craft your own ammo and make other things with it. I think you can make your own guns as well. What you can do in Fallout 3 and the blueprints and stuff. 
Also, you have uh, the, the boomers who are like a artillery type faction who took in control of an airfield out, I think it's like the northwest part of uh, northwest New Vegas. And then you have uh, there's another faction somewhere in there. Oh, and then you have the super mutants who pretty much control the mountain and the center of it. Uh, there's actually like a nuclear, like, ho like a, a ho like a huge, like hole in the ground where there's like if you jump into it, the radiation is like 40 rats per second. So look out for that. Um, and yeah, I, I like it. It's not as good as Fallout 3. Um, I don't know. It's just like I feel like Fallout 3 is just. It's, it, it, I don't think they can make a better game than that. I mean. I don't, I don't know how they would. It's just so, 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 so much. And also, the fall, fall of New Vegas is a little bit, the map is a little bit smaller. I mean, it's still very, very, very big, but it's smaller than uh, DC and the Wasteland. And then the radio stations are like, you know, I mean, some people don't really care, but I mean, I like Three Dog a lot more. Maybe they can have like Three Dog's cousin out here or something, you know, that would have been interesting, but oh well. Um, I'll give this game like probably an eight or nine out of ten. Uh, there's a lot of add-ons to it, which are you know they're not as good as the the ones for the original one, but they're they're decent. You know there's some good ones, and this is my opinion. Like, subscribe, and comment.